So very, very uh, uh, good evening, everyone, uh, and, a, and a very warm welcome uh, uh, to today's uh, session, uh, you know, uh, where we have uh, a couple of uh, Miles uh, CPA alumni, uh, uh, Mithul and uh, Mossam, uh, who've uh, cleared CPA, uh, who are currently in Canada. So uh, uh, over the past few months, years, uh, you know, uh, we've been getting a lot of requests from uh, candidates. Uh, uh, asking about okay hey uh, you know uh, we're planning for immigration to Canada or we want to immigrate to Canada and how does this this work uh, you know uh, the MRA that the the AICP and NASBA the, the US CPA basically has with uh, Canada CPA uh, so uh, this session uh, you know again uh, you know this session is just at a top level uh, you know uh, introducing you to what are the possibilities uh, you know uh, and uh, and then uh, you know the uh, the agenda I'll sort of leave it to you guys. Uh, to ask uh, a, a lot of uh, questions to Mithil and Mossam uh, and who will be able to give you, you know, uh, answers from the ground. So they're there in Canada. So they'll be able to answer, uh, give you the answers from the from the ground there. So we have a little bit of a presentation on this. Uh, 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 let me, uh, uh, yep, yeah, let me uh, quickly uh, share my, uh, share the deck and then uh, run you through this, uh, you know, a quick five to 10 minutes uh, Mithil and Mossam, and then we'll sort of keep it very, very interactive if that works with you guys. Okay, so so guys, uh, we're talking about uh, CP Canada. Uh, you know, uh, we'll we'll talk about the pathway to CP Canada for US uh, CPS, and that's 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 typically a uh, uh, majority of the audience miles. And we'll talk about you know how uh, the US CPA, and then of course uh, the CPA Canada gives you credibility opportunities uh, when you're looking at moving in there. Now, uh, before I proceed further, uh, let me uh, quickly roll out a poll in terms of understanding where you guys are, uh, uh, you know, uh, standing. So we've a couple of poll questions. It sort of gives us a good understanding of the audience. And uh, here you go. So number one, what's your status on CPA? Uh, you know, and, uh, you know, uh, what's your status on uh, uh, Canada immigration? Or, or rather, you know, <clears throat> we have plans for CPA, plans for Canada, or done CPA, plans for Canada, or, you know, uh, no plans for CPA, no plans for Canada, just getting information. Okay, I'm going to close the poll now and, uh, you know, uh, share results. Okay, so this is uh, interesting. So we have, uh, so uh, Mithul and Mawson, uh, for your information as well. So we have all sorts of people, you know, people who have done CPA, preparing for CPA, planning for CPA. And then, uh, you know, we have a few uh, who already have PR applications in process. And this is a huge majority uh, who are planning, uh, uh, you know, uh, to join you there in Canada. So... <laughs> Okay, so, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, before I think I, I proceed, uh, you know, uh, Mithul Mawson, do you quickly want to introduce yourselves, uh, you know, and then I'll, I'll, I'll take up and uh, we also have a few people from Miles and I'll also get them introduce themselves uh, very quickly, so. You're on mute, yeah. Yes, sure, sure, Arun. Thank you very much for this uh, session and uh, thank you everyone uh, whoever is joining in this session. Uh, my name is Mithul and uh, I moved to Canada in February 2018. Uh, I got my Chartered Accountancy and CPA designation when I was in India. Then I moved to Canada, I got my local designation that is CPA Canada. And uh, currently I'm working with a public accounting firm. And um, throughout this journey, I mean, it's been a bumpy ride, but we have, we have gained a lot of experiences out of this. So. Uh, I'm glad that I'm 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 given a platform to share my experiences with you all guys, and uh, thank you all, uh, whoever is here attending this session. Thank you, Warren. Thank you, Team Miles, for letting us in. Uh, yeah, that is about me. So over to you, Mossam. Yeah, thank you, thank you, Warren. First of all, for having both having both of us here. Uh, my name is Mossam and I'm a proud alumni of MILES. Uh, our journey began with, uh, you know, uh, joining MILES Ahmedabad and uh, with ABUS CPA and then landed in Canada and uh, got our Canadian CPA designation here. And um, I'm working in industry. So a uh, bit of a varied, uh, you know, exposure for me to in account, public accounting and for me in industry but both CPAs. So that's about me. 
Okay, great, great, great. Thanks. So thanks, Mithul and Mausam. Uh, I, I can see a lot of questions in the chat coming up already. So we're going to start shooting all of them to you guys. But uh, 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 before that, uh, you know, quickly, uh, uh, Vasudha, you want to uh, uh, say hi? Uh, hi, Jeshri. Jeshri is also in. Samya, uh, you guys, uh, you know, uh, yeah, Jeshri, over to you. Yeah. Um, hi, everyone. Uh, hi, Mithul and Mausam. Uh, thank you for joining. Uh, those who don't know me, uh, I head the academics here at Miles Education and uh, for both CPA and CMA. So, uh, you know, Vidul and Mausam, I want to start off by thanking you guys for taking the time to, uh, you know, uh, share your experience and knowledge with us with regards to, you know, uh, the MRA for uh, US CPA and Canadian CPA. People are very excited. I already see someone saying this is the first of its kind in India where we are doing such a webinar. So I'm really thankful to you guys and we're looking forward to a very, very fruitful session. Um, Vasudha can, can take over. Uh, hi, everyone, and uh, thank you, Mossam and Mithul, for accepting our uh, request to come uh, to this uh, session and uh, share your experience with us. So with, with us and uh, uh, with other eliminas <clears throat> as well. So um, uh, this is Vasudha. I take care of um, alumni relation and uh, placement at Miles. So welcome, everyone. We are hoping for a good, fruitful, and interactive session today. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, hi, Samia. Hi. Hi, Varun. Hi, Mithul and Mossam. A warm welcome to you guys. Uh, and uh, I am Samia. I'm a qualified CPA. I am from Miles Academic Game Plan team, where I look into el eligibilities, evaluations, and most importantly, licensing at Miles. So it's going to be a very interactive session. Guys, if you have any queries, please put up in a Q&A session. And of course, Mithul and Mossam will be there to answer all of your queries. So enjoy the session. Have a good day. Okay, and uh, hi, Atisha as well. Atisha Shashank. Okay. Anyways, uh, uh, so let's let's get going with the uh, session uh, here. So, uh, okay, so I, I just have a few slides, uh, you know, and uh, we're gonna actually use these slides for context setting. Uh, you know, uh, uh, we'll, we'll keep the session uh, very, very, very interactive. Uh, so a quick five minute running through slides and then, uh, you know, uh, we'll, we'll get into the Q&A mode. So setting the context, we're talking about uh, chartered professional accountants. So CPA US is certified public accountant. Here we're talking about chartered professional accountants Canada. Uh, you know, uh, a quick overview of CPA Canada. Uh, it's about uh, it's 200,000 plus members, so a, a wide membership uh, base. And, uh, you know, uh, uh, the CPA uh, Canada was uh, basically created in the year 2013. Uh, you know, prior to that, you had multiple qualifications in Canada. You had uh, the CA in Canada, you had uh, CGA in Canada, and you had CMA in Canada, and everything merged, and it became uh, CPA Canada. So that's the sort of standard. Uh, it's like the gold standard for, you know, accounting professionals, uh, you know, uh, especially for those who are looking at working in Canada. So, so, so this is... Uh, and, and Middle and Mossam, any, anything that you want to add to uh, uh, this piece in terms of the history of uh, CP Canada? Yeah, so here I wanted to add one thing. Uh, the CPA, uh, I mean the CA, CG and CMA designations were different, but they, they, have still, they are still allowing to use this uh, designation with your name. So you may see some of the names with, uh, with a designation called CPA, CA or CPA, CGMA, CPA, CMA. So they are allowed to use this name, I guess, till 2022. And then all of the uh, charters will be CPA. So either you're a CPA or nothing. So yeah. <laughs> there is no, there's no, there's no, there's going to be no. There menu. is no other, other designation. Uh, <laughs> there is no other qualification as far as the accounting field is concerned. Okay, great, great. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. So, uh, and then, uh, so this is uh, sort of, uh, you know, uh, the uh, provinces uh, in Canada, and excuse me, I'm not so good with uh, geography for Canada, but, uh, you know, I, I, uh, so for the, for the guys uh, in, in, in uh, you know, and folks uh, in India, of course, we have the states in India uh, and states in India territories. And then uh, in, in the U.S., you have uh, 50 states and again, five more territories. Uh, so uh, Mithul Mossam, uh, similar story here, right? Ten provinces, uh, three territories or, uh, you know, how does it work? Yeah. Um... Uh, you're right, 10 provinces, three territories, and where we are based is in Ontario, which is uh, quite the biggest uh, populated, you know, highly populated in uh, Canada, and then comes BC, but the other ones are the northern provinces, 
and uh, what uh, is interesting about canada is that cpa canada is the main authority uh, that is the uh, deciding authority and then you are you know where you are based in that is your provincial uh, designation so what you are using in essence and for you know uh, comparing your regulations with uh, us mra is cpa canada and that is the authority everything else is you know uh, just provincial you have to just you know uh, maintain your so it, it's uh, more like the state yeah. boards that we have in the us right so multiple yeah. state boards 55 state boards yeah, you're looking at uh, 13 uh, you know uh, uh, bodies uh, allowed to issue the cpa but but main is yeah okay. main is a uh, AICP and here main is CPA Canada. So uh, yeah, I see Toronto uh, uh, as well. So Toronto is also part of the Ontario province. Uh, so uh, and I that's think, correct. Uh, yeah, so uh, so great, great, great. So uh, yep. Yeah, so guys, uh, you know, uh, and I'm sure those who are those who have applied for a those who have received a PR or applied for a PR uh, know the geography very well. And for the rest of us, okay, hey, this is a good map with uh, you know uh, 13 uh, uh, pieces. Nice. Okay. Uh, uh, moving on. Uh, so uh, this was again, uh, you know, uh, something that we I think we picked up from the uh, competency framework uh, for uh, CPA Canada. So this is the typical pathway to uh, CPA Canada. And again, uh, we're not going to be really uh, going into details here, but there are many, many exams that I can see here. Uh, so there's some ac academic prerequisites, some core exams, elective exams, capstone. Uh, the common final exam. So, guys, this is the pathway to CPA Canada if you don't use the MRA route, right? So, if you want to become a CPA, and even I think Mithul and Mosam are shocked, okay, hey, what is this? Uh, so, we didn't we didn't do all of this. We did a No, actually, <laughs> sorry, sorry, I wanted to cut you off, but actually, we did uh, uh, kind of went through all this to before, before you know, getting into this MRA. Sure. Uh, it's, a, it's a very, very lengthy process, to be honest. And uh, it's just like a chartered accountants in India where you give for CP. E exam then C uh, P two I mean and now it's P C C right Correct. then you give your final examination so here the uh, academic prerequisite where where I I don't see actually there are total fourteen uh, prerequisites fourteen subjects that uh, you need to clear out and you can also get some exemption based on your uh, prior education qualifications so that is one thing and then core one core two elective and elective two are part of P C C if I if I compare with uh, CAD accountancy in India, and then capstone one, two, and CFE, which is common final examination, is is kind of a final examination. And in between, you went through the practical training requirement and all that, and then at the end, you will get your designation. So it's yeah. around uh, you can say three or three and a half year process minimum. Okay, okay, okay. So guys, uh, you know, for those who are looking at getting to the finance and accounting guys, looking at getting to Canada. Uh, and you've not yet done your CPA, you know, buck up. <laughs> Otherwise, this is your chart. <laughs> and not to mention the heavy costs. Okay, not to mention the heavy cost. Okay, great. Okay, okay. Wow, interesting. Okay, so this is the typical path to certification to CPA uh, Canada. And, 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 uh, and of course, uh, you know, since the three bodies in Canada merged together, uh, you know, uh, this is a common pathway for all uh, finance and accounting professionals in Canada uh, to get to CPA Canada. But of course, uh, you know, uh, what we are talking about here and uh, what makes it exciting for us is uh, uh, the MRA that, uh, you know, uh, the, the CPA bodies uh, in the U.S. So the CPA bodies in the U.S., the NASBA and the AICP, they're represented by the International Qualifications Appraisal Board. Again, those are uh, details. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, they have an MRA with, uh, you know, all the Canadian CPA bodies. So that's basically uh, the 10 provinces and the three territories all put together and uh, the MRA, uh, it's been around for quite a time, but the revised MRA is from uh, Jan 2018. And as per the revised MRA, uh, you know, uh, uh, there's no additional exams for US CPAs to earn Canada CPA. Uh, uh, the few eligibility requirements, though, that you need to meet, uh, you know, so you need to have an active US CPA license and you need to be in compliance with your required CPEs. Uh, you need to have 150 credits uh, of education, which is anyways uh, a prerequisite for the CPA license as, as well, uh, unless you've gone for the 120 exception. And then uh, you have the uh, 24 to 30 month uh, uh, relevant uh, experience, which I think is not a problem for most of the people who are moving into uh, Canada. And I think, uh, you know, in middle and Mossum, you got, to, you got to correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, you know, uh, there, there are certain requirements that you need to pass the four CPA exams uh, before you uh, land up in Canada. 
because uh, if you do that uh, or before you get a residency uh, because i think you do you do that after afterwards uh, you know you need to show some uh, us uh, education or some us work ex so you know and you guys could sort of uh, take this over because uh, you guys are hands on sure uh, so here you have nicely sum up the uh, eligibility requirement which is uh, you must have a, a cpa license from us state in good, good standing then you must have 150 hours of requirement for license i mean which you get through your educational assessment and then the 30 month experience requirement uh, and uh, uh, some of you might think that okay we can we can first pursue our uh, pr process and get our pr and then move to canada and then give our cp examination well guys uh, here is the thing um, you cannot come here on a resident permit and give the examination of cp and then use the mri for the benefit of getting cpa canada uh, uh, having said that they have given some um, uh, some relaxation on that uh, if you do that i mean after coming here in canada give your examination uh, and then apply for the cpa canada designation under this mri then you need to have at least one year of um, practical working experience in the us or a uh, one year of full time education qualification from us so you need to have either of these two uh, in a, in order to be eligible for this mr if you are already in canada and give your cpa us examination okay so uh, yeah mithil just a comment if you could just be a little louder uh, uh, you know and uh, I, I, i've been okay. able to hear you well but i think uh, you know people just want to hear it loud and clear so that you know the path is set but uh, yeah so a uh, very good point uh, mithil so uh, you know I, i'm assuming uh, you know with the audience that we have today uh, uh, people are not looking at uh, doing a doing education in the us which again is a very very expensive affair as well for sure and uh, working in the us uh, i think that's that's also not an option that uh, people have uh, here so uh, so given that these two options are out guys uh, so the point here is uh, if you are looking at immigrating to canada and uh, trying to use the mra uh, for cpa us to get the canadian uh, cpa you will have to pass the cpa exams before you get to canada and uh, now that the cpa exams are in india i think life gets even easier uh, you know for you to actually appear for the cpa exams clear them in and then head to uh, canada Yep, Mithul. Uh, Mosim, yeah. anything you want to add to this? No, I think yes. You have summed it all uh, very well. Uh, that's the that's the whole thing. The best idea is to do everything from India or wherever you are based in, apart from Canada, and uh, you know, finish it up and then come here. You can uh, get your license after coming here. no problem but you have to clear all your exams that's the only catch um yeah and uh, as i said earlier also it becomes very costly affair if you are coming here and doing everything else perfect so great uh, so i think this is sorted and then uh, this is a slide where a lot of people have questions uh, you know uh, the immigration to canada so uh, uh, one of the stats that uh, you know i think the team was able to dig out is uh, Canada is looking at a, over a million uh, immigrants uh, over the next few years, uh, uh, and uh, you know, and I'm not so good with the pathways, and I let uh, Mithul and Mosin take over. But there are a lot of pathways, but one of one among them which stands out is the express entry system. Uh, and the good thing about the Canadian uh, immigration for those who are looking at it. Uh, is uh, that you don't need a job offer to immigrate right so uh, you know and that's that's that sort of makes it easy uh, so you can get to canada and then uh, look out for a job and uh, you know of course that's an easier way where you can go for interviews and all of that and uh, you know once you have your us cpa uh, with your mra you can get the canadian cpa and then uh, you know the extensive uh, job opportunities so uh, uh, mithil and mosim if you could add up to this entire thing and then uh, of course there are a lot of questions that i see on the chat and i'm going to be shooting those questions over to you uh sure yes um uh i think the slide has mentioned uh, very clearly about uh, the process of immigration and you know uh what you got to do and all the documentation uh you can all find out from the IRCC website the first and foremost thing that i would you know uh like to mention over here is that uh always go for uh an agent or somebody an expert who immigration agent for say who is registered with IRCC that's the first thing that uh everybody should do to you know just be sure 
to uh, you know ensure the legitimacy uh, once that is done um, uh, the express entry system is very 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 easy you got to give your ielts and uh, uh, you know gather your paperwork as regards to your work experience and education and uh, there is a point system there so say for example if there is a cut off of 440 points then uh, you have to uh, uh, calculate and um, uh, very easily the calculator is also available on the ircc website so you just got to calculate your points and then see where you stand and what you are lacking and work on it and then once uh, the point uh, system is uh, up to your uh, you know uh, eligibility you got to put your file in and then once uh, you are in they assess everything and then they give you any letter of invitation uh, when you get that you provide all your physical documentation to um, IRCC and then uh, goes on forward the waiting period and uh, once everything is in order you are in good standing with whatever you have uh, claimed to uh, you are in you get your your PR letter that's that's the whole uh, process for immigration uh, and you are not a PR until unless you land in Canada so even if you have got your PR and you have to you know clear one exam don't worry uh, there is no fuss about it just wait uh, there is some time period between uh, attaining your uh, copr and coming here and taking that letter so uh, just be sure about uh, you know uh, abiding to that rule and uh, then you are good to go okay great uh, so uh, so guys uh, i think uh, uh, this is a very very top level uh, presentation in terms of uh, you know the mra and then immigration to canada and i and, and some people have uh, way more uh, specific queries so uh, now i can see a lot on the chat i would have loved to get uh, uh, people talk out but i think what we'll do is uh, you know i'll act like the uh, moderator here i'll just shoot questions uh, Uh, to uh, Mossam and Mithul, and then uh, you guys can uh, uh, you know uh, take over. Okay, so uh, uh, one of the question is: uh, Do we still need to uh, write the uh, IELTS exam once we pass CPA? So is that a must? Yes, it is a must because uh, your IELTS is for your PR eligibility. Sure. Uh, CPA is not. So if you sure. want to immigrate to Canada, IELTS is a must. Okay. Okay. So, uh, you know, uh, Mohsin Mithil, maybe can you talk about your immigration journey to uh, Canada? You know, all that information that you could share publicly, uh, you know, uh, so that people sort of have a little bit of a background. Uh, uh, maybe which agency you use, if you want to share that. If you had a good experience, of course, uh, you know, and and all of that. And uh, so, uh, you know, uh, people also have a little bit of a building because uh, you know some people here are in advanced stages with their uh, Canada immigration. Uh, there are others who've just come in for. information and uh, you know are looking at okay hey is that, is that an option is that a possibility so sure sure varun so <clears throat> uh one thing i wanted to add what mosam said uh, about uh, about an immigration agent uh, immigration agent should should be a licensed immigration agent i mean when i say licensed the ircc the immigration authority of canada issue a license to an agent who can who can um, you know do this uh, immigration process and all so do this process with the license agents only and if you if you if you are in doubt you can search the license number on the ircc's website and you can verify whether the agent is legitimate or not so that is the one thing uh, having said that we we did uh, our our immigration process all at our own because one of our relative was here and he was there to guide us so we did all these processes at our own we give give our ielts first then we went for our education assessment we got a good score in ielts so as far as the point entry system is concerned we 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 had a very good points in order to qualify for that uh, immigration uh, um, canada immigration process so um, after after going through all this uh, education assessment ielts and all that we register for that uh, uh express entry point system and then i guess within 3 or 4 months we got our uh, invitation to apply letter on the basis of our points and uh, once we get that letter you need to submit all the documents uh, on the i mean the documents on the basis of which you determined your point for this express entry you need to submit all these documents like 
your IELTS score, your education evaluation, then your edu experience letters and all, your medical certificate, your PCC, everything you need to submit uh, physically or maybe through the, through the online process to the uh, immigration authority. And uh, they will assess everything. They will take, I guess, two or three months to assess everything. And uh, at the end, they will issue uh, um, um, landing papers, uh, which, uh, which uh, you can, you have to show when you, whenever you land to Canada. So uh, normally at that time, when we did our process, we had around 11 months after getting our landing papers to arrive in Canada. So within that 11 months, we must uh, uh, arrive in Canada in order to process our PR. So we, we I guess, received our, um, um, this landing paper in the month, month of August 2020, 20, 20, 07, uh, 2017, right? Yeah, 2017, August. And then we arrived in Canada in 2018, February. So after five or six months, we came to Canada. And in between, we were giving the CPA US examination. So once we cleared all the examination, then we arrived in Canada. Okay, okay. So do you once, so, uh, consciously, you guys uh, did that. Where clear your CPA, only then arrive to Canada. Otherwise, the MRA would not be uh, uh, useful. Yes. Okay, now... Uh, Actually, uh, yeah, I, that's exactly what I would like to say is that we first uh, got our NASBA uh, assess assessments done through MILES. Sure. Then we appeared for our IELTS sure. and uh, filed our PR. Sure. And then we, uh, in between the whole period, we studied our US CPA, uh, turn by turn gave exams after finishing each subject. And uh, by the time uh, our PR was, uh, you know, we got our PR, sure. uh, we only, I only had one exam left. Mithul was all done. Sure. So I finished that exam and then after only uh, we came to Canada. Very, very so it, we, we did everything parallel, but our first step was to uh, go to Miles and get our, you know, eligibility done or, you know, whatever the assessment sure. procedure is with NASBA. That was the first step. Fair, fair. Very nice. Okay. So, uh, uh, you know, uh, help me understand, guys, uh, you know, and you guys are also chartered accountants. So, uh, uh huh. Uh, so yeah, uh, I am an intermediate CA. Okay. I was uh, appearing for my CA final exams while uh, I went for CPA uh, US. So sure. I stopped there and then yeah. Okay. But and Mithul is uh, is a CA from India. Yeah. So actually, somebody I saw in the chat, somebody is asking. Uh, well, I am not a CA, so am I still eligible for uh, one US CPA and two CPA Canada? Uh, you have an example in front of you guys, so don't worry. We have two examples. So we have a, yeah. a an accountant uh, uh, and uh, and both the North American CPAs uh, with Mithul and uh, Mossam without the chartered accountant. Yeah, uh, yeah. So you have a chartered accountant and you have a semi-chartered accountant, and both of these guys are CPA US and CPA Canada. So not to worry about that. Mithul, you now in your case, uh, uh, you know, and, and this is, uh, you know, uh, for the information uh, of, of people, uh, even ICAI, the Institute of Chartered Accountants, has a MRA with CPA Canada. So why, uh, you know, so Mossam's case, I understand, okay, hey, uh, for her, it was very, very clear that if she wanted the CPA Canada, and it's a, a three-year, four-year long affair, so she said, I'll do US CPA, which is a few months, and then I'll get the MRA. But in case of, in your case, Mithul, uh, you know, uh, why did you want to do CPA and not jump the gun and use the AI uh, uh, CPA Canada and uh, you know just just for information uh, you know for the audience as well. Yeah, sure. So uh, I could have could have used the uh, CA uh, MRA with uh, CPA Canada, but the thing is with CA MRA uh, being a chartered accountant, I'm required to give an examination called CFE, which is the last examination we saw on this on the chart. Sure. So it's a, it's a three day examination. Uh, three day thing, examination. Three day, yeah. So first like day it's four days. hours. Yeah. For first day it's four hours. Then rest of this uh, rest of two days it's fire examination. Um, it's it's actually it's uh, the structure of this examination is totally different than what we have in uh, India. Um, I mean, it's totally based on the practical experiences that you have throughout your uh, um, training journey or maybe your full-time job journey. Sure. So, uh, I mean, to, to, to summarize it, they, they give you a case study, uh, uh, 15, 20, or maybe 30-page case study, then you need to summarize the 
summarize uh, i mean you need to summarize that whether the 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 financial statement or the write up or the business decision is uh, correct or how you can assess that situation you need to you need to write it down that yes this financial statement is having so many uh, notes that is missing you need to figure that out you need to write that down on this on the other sheet and then you need to you know on the basis of that they will assess you so it's it's quite a quite a typical examination first so i, I thought i mean uh, you know uh, going there then going through the assessment and then after actually at that time this examination was conducted only once a year sure. so it was i mean uh, if i come to canada then apply for this examination it comes after a year the, that that will waste my entire year so i was in india i thought that why not i mean i have time i can do that in india before going to canada so i did this uscp sure. and as far as the cost is concerned if you do uscp from india and if you if you if you are a chartered accountant and if, and if you use your mra after coming to canada the cost factor will going to be same sure and efforts is also going to be same it's just that i i saved some time by doing it while i was that, in india got it got it well, got it so yeah, that is what the uh, motivation so, is so mithul let me summarize it uh, for the benefit of all uh, so guys uh, this is the typical uh, cpa canada path to certification that is uh, you know if you go to canada and you say okay hey i'm going to start from scratch there and i'm going to earn cpa canada there from there or or somebody from canada who actually uh, you know uh, works in uh, you know organically uh, to earn the cpa uh, canada designation now uh, the institute of chartered accountants of india has a mra with uh, a cpa canada uh, which exempts you from everything apart from the common final examination so on the far right uh, you see that box uh, just before cpa the common final examination that's the exam that uh, mithul uh, spoke about so it's a a a a, a pretty pretty uh, you know a pretty intense exam i would say uh, that you need to clear and of course that common final examination only happens in canada so uh, typically uh, you know you would go for that common final examination after you get your pr and you land in canada then you go in there and you appear for that common final examination so that is the icai mra which you of course can use but what mithul uh, though he was a chartered accountant uh, what he decided was uh, uh, instead of uh, you know waiting to get to canada and then preparing for and uh, appearing for those common final examination which would have actually uh, you know and mithul correct me if i which would have wasted time because you would have landed there and then prepared for the common final examination and then appeared for the common final examination waited for results or whatever it is uh, and gotten uh, you know the canadian cpa via the icai mra mithul uh, sort of decided uh, you know and that was of course his decision uh, that uh, you know he do the us cpa first uh, you know uh, uh, and that he could do it uh, uh, you know right from india and at that point exams didn't even happen in india so i assume mithul you would have gone to dubai uh, you know or to the us to uh, uh, take the exam so mithul said uh, you know do the cpa while i'm in india the us cpa and uh, if you do your us uh, cpa the mra that the uh, that the us uh, cpa has with canada cpa is nothing at all no exams so even the common final examination gets waived off so uh, you know if you are using the icai mra you still appearing for the common final examination with the us uh, cpa there is no common final examination you directly you only have to do the paperwork and get the cpa card uh yep most uh, 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 sorry, sorry i i want to add one thing uh, one, one of, of my, my colleague who is chartered accountant in india, india he came here in canada before i mean he came uh, i came in 2018 he came in 2019 so mithul your voice is a little muffled now um, so uh, yeah okay volume. can you hear me now yes this is very good <laughs> okay so uh, that colleague of mine came here in canada in 2017 i came in 2018 uh he was a chartered accountant from india he got his local designation the, the thing, thing is he came here before me still we both got our designation together okay so he he was here one one year before me he wasted his one year i came here when when we we we, we both, both got our de- designation together so basically the the moral of the story is mithul is smarter <laughs> follow his track <laughs> now and also one important thing varun that we are missing here is uh you uh if you're coming through us cpa uh, mra you are getting a global designation as well 
Of course, Correct. Indian yes, CA yes, is yes. very valuable, and, and but think... uh, it opens doors to, you know, once you're settled in Canada, you have opportunities of working in the US as well. So it opens doors to that. Uh, uh, you can work either in the US, go there, or you can work here in companies which have collaboration with Canada. So guys, the thing here is uh, Mawson, Mawson's loyalties are clear. Uh, she is uh, a US CPA. And then the, with, with Mithul, of course, we have divided loyalties, uh, and which is, which is understandable. Uh, but uh, Mawson is very clear. Uh, you know, uh, make sure you have your just just on a lighter note, guys. So uh, yeah, no, no, uh, and that's absolutely not because I couldn't get my CA. I could have, but then yes. I think this was this was a Canada, very practical it, it, decision. Yeah. Very, very, very nice, very nice. So uh, I, I hope everybody is able to also make sure uh, you know uh, understand that. And I and I and I do know that we also have a lot of chartered accountants uh, who are part of the uh, 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 group. So if you're a CA, uh, you know, uh, in, uh, you know, and you're looking at moving to Canada, in that case, uh, get the US CPA uh, 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 done, uh, you know, uh, uh, right when you're in India, so that you get to Canada and uh, get your Canadian CPA. Don't uh, do that common final examination. Otherwise. Uh, you know, you would sort of lose about close to a year in terms of uh, getting that uh, sort of course, the call is yours, but uh, these are uh, the advices that I hear, uh, you know, uh, from Mithur, who's a, a CA from India and still did his CPA US before getting to Canada. And then, uh, of course, Mawson was very clear that, OK, hey, you also have the US CPA, which is which is very, very important. OK, good. So uh, uh, now Mithul, yeah, Mithul, yes. Uh, so uh, just one more thing I wanted to add. Uh, you can apply for CPA Canada while in India if you are a CPA US. Okay. So you might get your uh, CPA Canada designation uh, uh, before arriving to Canada. Wow. Okay. That's that's exciting. Okay. So guys, uh, so uh, yeah, this uh, is exciting for all those who have already got their PR might be you know uh, appearing for CPA exams and because of Corona they are not being able to come here okay. or there is no uh, set date in the future as well. So might as well use your time. <laughs> okay, very nice, very very interesting. So Mithul and Mawsam, uh, you know, a little bit more insight into uh, how does this work, right? So uh, once I clear my CPA exam, so so let's say if I talk about myself, uh, you know, and of course I'm going to be staying in India, but you know, if I decide to come to Canada and join you guys there, uh, so uh, uh, you know, how long would it take for me uh, to uh, you know uh, you know after I have my CPA license, uh, you know, how long for me to get the uh, the Canada CPA? So once you get your uh, US CPA license from the state that are mentioned in the MRA, uh, you just need to apply with the documentations like uh, your uh, good standing certificate from that particular state, then your uh, personal documents like your uh, uh, passport copy and all that, then your experience forms, uh, experience certificate and all that. Then uh, your, uh, I mean, to, together all the documents you need to submit it to CPA Canada. They will assess your documents. Normally, they take around four to five months assessing your documents, but um, you you need to be patient with them I guess, because they they are getting lot of lot of applications from international students because they are having lot of MRAs, not just with India or US. They are also having MRA with Mexico, UK, Australia, New Zealand. So all of that members are coming here and applying for this uh, MRA reciprocity. So you need to be patient with them. And uh, yeah, you just need to submit all these documents which are required. Uh, the requirement of documents might be different, uh, different province to province. So you need to, you need to go through that documentation okay. requirement. For example, if you are in province of British Columbia, you need to go through the documentation, require, documentation requirement of that particular state. So, uh, so just submit your document along with the application. They will assess your application. If they find something is missing, they will they will ask you to submit that document. They will again, uh, you know, after after uh, submitting all the document to their satisfactor satisfaction, uh, they will issue a letter uh, saying that hey, you are now admitted as a member of CPA Canada, and within few months you get your certificate. Okay. Great. In all, in all, it it's gonna take you six to seven months, I would say. To gather all the documents, apply to CPA so, so, Canada. Uh, just, just, just to reclarify, Mithul. So let us say, if I don't have a Canadian PR, I can still apply for CPA Canada uh, with, with with the MRA even before I get the PR. Yes. Okay. So uh, now uh, hold on to that. And my question to you is: Will this help me in my immigration? So let's say if I'm talking about uh, you know uh, somebody who's who's in India 
uh, you know, with the CA, without a CA, it doesn't matter, uh, you know, working in finance and accounting and completes, uh, clears all the four US CPA exams, earns the CPA license. And of course, Miles is very good with all of that, you know, in terms of getting the CPA license and all that. So once, uh, you know, the candidate has the CPA license, uh, you know, goes for Canada CPA also while in India. And let's assume the, even the immigration, the, the PR application is also not yet done. But can I get my CPA Canada even if I don't apply for PR for Canada? Yes, you can get your CPA Canada while you are okay. in India. Okay. So, so, would there it be, is no... would it, yeah. so for those who have, let's say, cleared the CPA exams now, uh, you know, and, and maybe I'm not very sure whether I want to apply for Canada immigration or not, but, but, but okay, thinking, okay, I'll do it in a six months or a year's time, uh, you know, they can actually even earn their CPA Canada before applying for uh, PR. Yes. Now, uh, now, if this is done, will this help in PR? You know, and I know the PR, uh, the point system, uh, how does this how does this work? Uh, does so, uh, US CPA count towards points? Does Canada CPA count? So uh, I went actually the the point system works on multiple factors like IELTS, your education, your experience. So the uh, all the educations are assessed by some different authority. Sure. And uh, uh, the authority name is WES. Sure. Uh, World Education Evaluation something the full form is World Education and, Services. Yeah, WES. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. So they they assess your document. Uh, when I was reading an article on West website, they specifically mentioned that they don't assess CPA US qualification. Okay. So I'm not sure whether that stand as of now is still there or they have changed that. Uh, I think immigration agent would be a good person to answer that question as okay. far as this education assessment is concerned. Uh, well, I can say that CPA US or CPA having CPA US or CPA Canada will definitely help you get a job here in Canada. Okay. Okay. That so is for sure. So, uh, for, so yeah, okay. Got you. Go so ahead. as far as I know, CPA US will not help you increase your scores in immigration process. But still, I would suggest you to, you know, consult any good uh, immigration lawyer who will who will definitely or you can you can you can anyways apply with this. Because, we have somebody right? from the chat saying that for the immigration CRS score, they do not consider certification courses like CPA and CA. OK, so that's, that's no, key. they do consider CA. Sorry, sorry to cut you off. They do consider CA because I was a chartered accountant. My score because West evaluates for CA. West gives you two years of university equivalence yes. for CA. Yeah. Yes. Okay. 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 So, uh, so uh, again, uh, so very, very clear. Uh, uh, so, if you're looking at immigrating to Canada, uh, you know, look at your CPA exams, clear your CPA exams while you're here in India. Uh, you know, apply for your Canada CPA and apply for PR. So these could be two parallel things. One track you're working on CPA and CPA Canada. Another track you're uh, working on your PR. So I think these are two parallel tracks that somebody could work on simultaneously if he or she is looking at moving to Canada. You know, what do you think, Mithul and Mawson? So that is, is that the direction? Sorry, I I, I didn't get that. Uh, so, uh, Mawson, uh, so, uh, you know, uh, when we have folks, uh, let's say, who are, who are coming in and, let's say, join Miles for uh, CPA or planning to join Miles for CPA, can we tell them that, uh, you know, they can look at preparing for the CPA exams and it could be a six months to nine months to 10 months timeline for CPA and immediately complete CPA exams and apply for CPA Canada. So get a CPA license, apply for CPA Canada. So that could be one track that they do and simultaneously also process the immigration for Canada because they don't need to wait for the CPA to be complete to apply for Canada immigration. Yeah, that's absolutely correct. Right. Okay. Okay. And Good. I also wanted to um, answer one question that is coming repeatedly. So many people are uh, asking this question that uh, is work experience, you know, uh, before like post US CPA considered uh, for CPA Canada or no? Yes, yes absolutely. absolutely. It is considered. The experience can be post, pre or post, right? It can be anything. Pre, yeah, it can be anything. Like for us, we our PR process and the US CPA exams were going parallel. Uh, but even though when we came here, we uh, our all all of our you know education and work experience was from before uh, US CPA. So you do not have to have all the twenty four or thirty months of experience post CPA. Sorry, I just wanted to answer this because Perfect. so many people. And, uh, I think another question, uh, Mausam and Mithul, is is articleship experience counted? Uh, you know, uh, so uh, you know, from a CPA experience standpoint, I know that uh, you know I do a lot of verifications and I do verify articleship experience as well. If they put in two thousand hours a year on the job, so articleship is fine to get the CPA license. But when we talk about this twenty-four to thirty months, is articleship counted in that twenty-four to thirty months? Uh, so on the thing here is. Uh, when, you, when you apply for CPA Canada with your experience form, the experience form is very detailed one. 
it's a 14 page form so wherein 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 they they have this uh, competencies level uh, level 0 1 and 2 so if if you are in article ship but obviously you are at level 0 because you are doing not doing that technical thing or not doing anything so i would say to be on a safer side uh, have, i mean add some experience of full time after your article ship as well wherein you can sure. show that you have competencies of working in level 1 and level 2 as well Sure. So yes, article ship experience will count. They won't ask you whether you have uh, done this as a part of your internship or not, but uh, they will consider. But as I said, it will going to be a level zero experience. So uh, I but, would, but but once I get my CPA Canada Mithul, then it doesn't matter whether it's a level zero or a level one or a level two, right? So once I get my Canada CPA designation, then uh, it doesn't matter. No, it does matter, Varun. Okay. For a Canadian CPA designation, it does matter. Sure. So uh, uh, they do not rely on all the documents that US CPA has assessed for you, sure. like NASBA has assessed for you. They sure. uh, do all the assessments all together independently, and sure. all they consider is your US CPA scores. But in terms of experience, there is a, a detailed form that wherein you have to explain everything, uh, what field, what level of experience you have gained and what is your level of competency in uh, working there. So you have to just, it's not that you have to give an interview, but, but you do have, have to, have to give a bona fide a document where you're saying that, okay, I was auditing banks and this is the level of exp expertise I have gained. So okay. that's uh, that's the thing, yeah. Okay. Basically, you need to give a write-up. Yeah, yeah, Mithun? Basically, you need to give a write-up for each competencies. Okay, okay, okay. So, pretty, pretty elaborate, uh, you know, uh, explanation of uh, your entire experience. So, so guys, uh, what do you need for, uh, let's talk about this, right? To, to summarize and take a back seat, uh, you know, uh, to get your uh, Canadian CPA, what you need to do is, number one, uh, pass all the four CPA exams, get the CPA license. And, uh, you know, CPA license, we could gain it, let's say, with, with a year of experience and, you know, as long as it's verified by licensed CPA, it works. Uh, but for the Canadian CPA, we're talking about uh, 24 to 30 months of experience. So let's let's look at 30 month uh, uh, experience that we're looking at. It could be pre or post. Uh, and if you already have it, you're anyway sorted. And if you don't have it, uh, you know, you should be looking at working in India for a little bit before you uh, move in there uh, to uh, Canada. Okay, great. Okay, now uh, a little bit, uh, yeah, yeah, Mithun. And uh, one more thing to add, if the experience is not as per their expectation, they will ask you to complete certain months of experience before getting your CPA designation. Okay, okay, okay. So you okay. have still chance, so. Fair enough, so if, if you think, yeah, so, uh, yeah. So, so people are asking is article ship considered as work X? Uh, so uh, Ram and a few other people have been asking. So, uh, you know, the response that I hear from Mithul and Mossam is article ship is considered, but uh, it might be a challenge for you to justify that article ship, uh, only that article ship for the 30 months. So you may need to have, you may want to look at uh, experience even post your CA uh, or post your CPA, but uh, you know, uh, and if, but if article ship is all you have, you can give it a shot. So, uh, great. Uh, now, uh, you know, a little bit around uh, the immigration, uh, Mithil and Mossam. So, uh, if you could talk about, uh, you know, uh, your thing. So, uh, number one uh, is, uh, you know, how do I get that entire formalities out of the way and immigration is, is a big deal. So, that's, that's question number one. The other question is, uh, so you guys, as I understand, uh, you know, landed up in Canada, uh, you know, you had the qualifications on you, didn't have the, didn't have a job yet. And then you started searching for a job after you landed in Canada. Uh, so, uh, you know, how long did it take? Uh, you know, uh, what's the value that you got from your uh, US CPA? What's the value that you got from your Canadian CPA, from your earlier work ex? Uh, you know, how did everything come together, uh, you know, uh, for you guys? And Mithul, that, that you were also a chartered accountant from India, did that help? And Mossam, that you're not a chartered accountant from India, but a US CPA, uh, you know, uh, uh, how, how were your experiences? Uh, you know, number one is pre getting to Canada, number two is, post getting to Canada. And I'm just trying to summarize uh, most of it, I mean, you, you're looking at the chat. If I start asking you all these questions, I think, you know, we'll have to, it's an all lighter. <laughs> yeah. So as far as the job market is concerned, uh, I mean, uh, it is very difficult for you to get a job while you are in India because they want you here for an interview. And if you, if you cannot attend an interview, I mean, it, it is very difficult for you to get a job when you are in India. So, if I talk about my uh, journey after coming to Canada, I got my first job in the second week of arrival. 
so i would say i think uh, my my qualification the cpa us and the experiences that i had from india helped me to you know get that job after after in, in a second week of my arrival mosam got got her job in the in the i guess uh, second month of her arrival so after a month she got her job so and uh, the, the only thing that we were looking for i mean i was looking in a public accounting she was looking in an industry so industry at that time when we came here was it it was a snowy situation so people were not that i guess when hiring people so she got her job bit late but i got my job because we we came here in a tax season and we i got my job uh, um, uh, in the second week of my arri- arrival uh, having super cool mithul second week of arrival is super cool it's more like yeah know, i mean i was i was lucky i i, I, I land up I'm, and i'm planning okay i'll just start to settle up and i have a job on me wow and yeah. he didn't even apply for that job okay they came they 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 head hunted him is it Yeah. <laughs> so they 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 were tracking you know I, i think the news was out from india that mithul shah is on the fl- plane <laughs> no 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 not to brag but then yes it was uh, uh, not to uh, show you a picture that you know um, you come and they are just waiting with a garland of roses for you no that is not the case but uh, sometimes it happens that your designation and your work experience that you have put on linkedin helps you a lot and uh networking uh, is also a key like he used he had started networking way back from in india so probably that uh, worked in his favor and um, yes exactly because we were here in the tax season he got hired immediately and uh, he just you know started working right away um but yes uh, you do get a job and your uh, all it counts initially like for the first job is your title i mean your designation and your previous work experience because so many people uh, here say that you do not have canadian experience but then still uh, there are many companies out there who uh, you know consider your indian or whatever experience which is from outside of india as transferable yeah and, and guys the good thing is uh, canada is, uh, is is with open arms as far as uh, uh, immigration is concerned uh, so uh, there, there's a huge pool uh, of uh, folks who are moving into canada from india and from uh, around the world and of course india you know a, a lot of people going in there uh, so uh, you know i'm assuming that the companies are also uh, you know pretty open minded in terms of uh you know looking at folks who have landed there on pr and you know uh, there would be a lot of uh, indians uh, uh you know uh, there are some states in india where you find a lot of people there uh, in in canada so i i think uh, canada is already very used to uh, indians being there so what's what's the percentage of indian population there in canada i, I mean uh, people who have uh, indian roots so so around here we i mean uh, the 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 city in which i am living we have a lot of indians here i would say in in 5 minutes 5 minute distance of from my home i have six indian restaurants okay wow wow so okay. so we have a lot of indian <laughs> i i wouldn't even of, ask you whether you miss india or you <laughs> yeah we have a lot of indian grocery stores we we have a lot of i mean in my community where i am living we have around 350 houses out of that around 125 houses are owned by indians okay so indians i uh, uh, when i say indian it includes punjabis or maybe uh south indians the sure. gujarat is like us so all of them perfect so a lot of it, it's very heavily populated indian populated uh, state the ontario is i would say okay and uh, how are things so uh, so yeah so that that's post uh, right in terms of getting jobs uh, uh you know after you arrive in canada and you, you know and i think a good good strategy for those who are moving to canada is uh, start uh, networking way before start looking out for jobs and i think uh, uh, i hear from you mosam that linkedin is is a good place uh for for people to uh you know uh, start networking looking out for opportunities okay uh now yes, the next it is definitely yeah. yes okay now the next question is uh what about before uh you know how uh you know cumbersum is the entire immigration process uh uh is express entry uh the preferred uh, route for people to apply or there there others as well uh and if you're doing express entry uh you know uh, how big a deal is it uh, and you guys uh, you know uh, had, had had relatives so you don't really have to get an immigration uh, uh, guy here in india uh, but uh, you know uh, typically uh, is is it is it easy is it is it cumbersome uh, you know uh, what what's what's your feedback what's what's your experience so so the experience that i had i would say uh, three main things three main important things one is your ielts score second is your education and third is your experience 
so the majority of the points are based on these things and the sec uh, the fourth is uh, if you if you get a nomination from any state uh, there are few states who are who are issuing nominations to the people uh, who are fall into their uh, their requirement so you can apply to that particular state for that nomination where you can get 600 points which which help you uh, eligible under this express entry system right away so you can do that as well but yes these three things is very important uh, work hard on that if you can work hard on your alt scores which will definitely going to increase your scores uh, for example in our case uh, mossam was having eight bands i was having seven and a half band so that helped us to you know increase our scores significantly when we were uh, doing this express entry system, uh, sorry, express entry point calculation. So I would say these three uh, are main pillars for your immigration process in order to get the eligible points. Okay. And of so, course, uh, this uh, is the best. Yeah. So, 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 uh, so Mithil, uh, you know, uh, the word nomination, I, I, I see a, a couple of questions in the chat. What's, what's the nomination deal? What's the secret sauce here? Okay, so the nomination. So, how do we get the six hundred points, right? Some some, some people okay. are looking at. So so there are few states. I mean, the uh, the the thing here in Canada is few states are having very extreme weather. For example, Yukon State, which is in the in the very north part of Canada, it is having around eight to nine months. It's under uh, un, uh, it's covered by the snow. So 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 it's very extremely cold states. So such states are issuing uh, a list of. Uh, 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 qualifications or list of uh, job profiles. Uh, for example, uh, state of Saskatchewan previously issued a list of uh, job profiles wherein they have specifically mentioned financial accountants. So financial accountants includes uh, uh, auditors or the, the, the uh, persons from an accounting field. So you, if you fall into that particular category, then you can apply for this, you can request the state for a, for a nomination, issuing of nomination. You can file the documents that are pre-defined uh, pre by that particular state. You can apply to that state and wait for the decision to come. If the decision is in your favor, uh, they will issue a letter of nomination and that letter of nomination is equal to around 600 points, which will help you, you know, eligible, uh, quickly eligible. But, but uh, you know, uh, Mithil, correct me if I'm wrong. If I get a nomination from a particular state, then I will have to go and settle in that state only, right? Yeah, the thing is, uh, they 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 do have that requirement. They they ask you to stay at least two years in that particular state. But I have seen few people moving out of that state because they might not be getting a job there. So I have seen few people moving out of that state. But I'm not sure about the future of that uh, uh, that people Fair moving out of that state before that two year period. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. So so yeah. So uh, you we are. I mean, I think guys can. Uh, uh, look at the uh, 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 nomination uh, piece, and uh, you know, for folks who are actively looking out for uh, the the Canadian PR, uh, would have I think more clue. I think every, every, it changes every time, right, Mathu? Uh, yeah. So I mean, the the nomination thing, the state issue a fresh nomination every uh, quite a bit. You need to keep an eye on their websites and all. Whenever they are coming out with such requirement, and if you are eligible for that particular uh, section, you can you know should go for that. If you are not uh, eligible to your or maybe you are having less score as far as the express entry system is concerned you can always choose that part perfect 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 uh, any any anything else uh, that you would want to uh, you guys would want to add to it i think we've, we've, we've mostly summed it up all uh, but anything else that you guys uh, want to want to add uh, you know uh, uh, to this uh, to anything that you think we've missed out uh, mithul and mausam Okay, uh, and I think I, I have a, a good question here. Uh, uh, what's the impact of uh, COVID uh, uh, there in uh, Canada? Number one is uh, the health system and uh, uh, number two is the economy in uh, general. Uh, is this a, a good time to immigrate uh, or this is the time that, that people should focus on getting the CPA, getting the Canadian CPA, uh, let things uh, get better uh, and maybe come in sometime next year. So how, how, how do you see uh, uh, you know, what's the scene now and how do you see it in the next year? Uh, well, I think um, uh, that's a very good question. Um, it's a global impact, as everybody knows, and uh, Canada is not far. But uh, the COVID situation in terms of, you know, uh, death rates or in terms of uh, affected people, uh, Canada has done a very, very good job. 
and uh, we we have gone into like from phase one to two and three. We are now in phase three, and uh, schools have reopened. Everything is looking good, but still, uh, like uh, I would say, most people are taking a lot of precautions. So we are good in terms of um, how we are facing this uh, global impact. Uh, economy wise, yes, uh, a lot of people have been impacted. But the again, the government has done a very good job in helping out, uh, you know, people who do not have jobs, helping out businesses who are losing out on business, and uh, even helping out students who are, you know, new to this country and they do not have anywhere else to go. So um, that way, uh, we are in a very good place. Um, if we compare with U.S., which is a sister country here, Canada has done a you know, a marvelous job. Uh, but having said that, um, I I don't know if I'm in a good place to say or not whether you should migrate or not. But uh, the job market is extremely slow at the moment. Uh, has been slow since March, and uh, it was set to pick up in September, but it hasn't. So probably we are seeing next summer for the job market to pick up. There have been vacancies, but even companies have, you know, somehow freezed hiring and they are going slow on, you know, uh, because everything is going to be virtual. We haven't started going into offices yet and the onboard, starting from the onboarding to, you know, working, it's going to be 100% virtual. So that is one of the reasons why companies are reluctant in hiring new people. So uh, if you have a job and you are in India, you, you are having a job. I would I would suggest to stay put and uh, once things become a little bit normalized, uh, you know, take a good step and then, yeah. So uh, maybe most of what I hear from you is, uh, you know, and this is uh, across the world, guys, right? Uh, you know, uh, job markets are uh, slow. Uh, you know, companies are not really hiring and, uh, you know, uh, so this is uh, in the US, in Canada, uh, in India as well. Uh, you know, so uh, the uh, the suggestion uh, that I perhaps hear from Awesome and Mithul is, uh, if you guys, uh, you know, uh, let's say, uh, get to complete your CPA, focus on that, get that knocked off. Uh, for those folks who have completed CPA, looking at immigrating to Canada, uh, a good idea would be to get your Canadian CPA formalities out of the way. And uh, at the same time, of course, you could apply for the Canadian PR, but uh, don't look at rushing into uh, uh, Canada at this moment. And anyways, I think, uh, right now the flights also are not uh, so frequent or, or on uh, so perhaps you could look at some time uh, next year uh, you know in terms of uh, moving in there but meanwhile you could sort of get the qualification thing uh, out of the way uh, yeah middle what's what's your opinion well yeah i mean as mossam said uh, i mean everything is uh, slow as of now uh, people who 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 are laid off from their job government is helping them a lot Sure. by giving them few few bucks every month and uh, uh, subsidies and all business are getting subsidies and all so uh, as far as this pandemic effect is concerned people are getting financial support from the government but as far as the job market is concerned it is slow people are uh, i mean uh, companies are very reluctant in hiring new people as of now so i would say wait for for this year to complete and see if uh, from january 2021 if something improves then you can probably might think to move to canada okay i see another question here in terms of what's the pay scale like uh, you know uh, for a canadian uh, 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 cpa uh, you know and we can talk about freshers and uh, you know and, and then of course the way up is is, is 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 there but what's what's the starting pay packet for a canadian cpa uh, uh, it ranges uh, from, you know, I would say uh, it, it's a huge range, uh, Warren, to be honest, because uh, not only your designation counts, your work experience and uh, your communication counts a lot. Canadians put a lot of emphasis on your communication skills. Um, uh, English is the first and only language. If you are good at French, that's 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 an add-on because uh, bilingual accountants are in demand so if you have time and if you cannot come here and if you are you know uh, you know dead sure that you are going to come here might as well find a good french tutor i wanted to do it i didn't have the time so that's an advantage i would suggest uh, but uh, 
the range is quite uh, varied because of, as I said, uh, your work experience from India as well. And um, uh, I don't know, Mithul, if you want to um, add to this. Well, I would say that with CPA US and CPA Canada, you can you can earn something which help you survive in Canada initially, and uh, later on, I mean, with with the with the experience that you gain here and the 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 time you spend here, you will definitely gonna grow uh, very high, and um, yeah, I mean, initially, definitely you will earn something which help you survive here initially. I would say first year. Yeah. And then you are at your own. How, how much would that be, Mithul? Uh, so, uh, well, to survive, it, it actually one it depends on the province. $50,000 uh, per year or more than that. How, how what would be what would be the basic, uh, you know, and, uh, you know, we are all accountants here. We want the numbers. So give us an estimate. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, <laughs> see, the basic the basic pay that uh, Ontario has is fourteen hours per, $14 per hour, right? Sure. So that's the basic pay in Ontario. It, it is different in different provinces. Sure. But uh, I am 100% sure that uh, a designated professional will get 100% more, uh, might be double than uh, the basic pay. So that is, I think, a good uh, way of seeing how you are standing out from uh, an average Canadian who is making, uh, you know, who is on minimum wages. So you are not going to start from 1400%. That is for sure. But sure. um, if I if I would if want I look to at the 14, vague, uh, so let's say if I look at the minimum wage, Mossum. Uh, so if I look at the fourteen dollars uh, per hour, and I'm assuming I'm putting in about two thousand hours a year on the job, we're talking about twenty eight thirty thousand uh, dollars is the basic Canadian. Uh, uh, that is wage. the basic, yeah. And uh, if you're a CPA, up uh, CPA Canada, you are looking at starting off with somewhere around let's say sixty thousand uh, Canadian dollars a year. It could be more, it could be less. Uh, a lot of factors, which location and all of that, but uh, uh, that's 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 the ballpark I'll yes. put. And yeah, okay, great. I mean, so I think if you are if you are insisting yeah. on a figure, I would say you would you would start around fifty k, and sure. uh, yeah, and within one year or two years, see the best way of uh, getting uh, you know uh, getting in here is getting a foot in the door. That sure. is the first thing. Uh, don't, fo- don't well, I would not suggest you to focus on the numbers because once you have at least six months of Canadian experience, everything from back home will count immensely uh, good in your way. So if you are exactly. starting and if you are having five years of experience from back home, they would not give you as much emphasis. But if you have taken six months of uh, experience here and then you add your five years from back home, You'll get a you will get a very good opportunity. Where you 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 will you will get a good raise. Very nice, very nice. I think that 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 that, that makes a, a lot of sense. Okay, okay, okay. So uh, great. Uh, uh, I think uh, besides this, uh, uh, cost of living. Uh, so guys, uh, you know, uh, cost of living. I think again is very very subjective. Uh, uh, I think in COVID times, it's only the rent that you pay and some groceries. <laughs> But uh, otherwise, in non-COVID times, is very subjective. But uh, you know, and I think uh, let, let's let's say, uh, Mithil, if it's a family of two, and uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, let's say one of the spouses uh, is, is a CPA and uh, you know gets a job for about a fifty thousand uh, Canadian dollars to start with, is is that good enough to survive? Yes. Okay. So, so I, I mean, I, you you won't end up saving anything, but uh, uh, yes, you will you will have a have a decent life here with fifty thousand. You can pay your rent, you can have a car, you can pay your grocery bills and everything. That that would be a decent pay. Okay, 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 great, great. Okay, so I think that's that's about uh, it. Uh, now, uh, you know, uh, I think some of the people are asking questions around, uh, you know, which states in the U.S. Uh, would be uh, eligible, uh, you know, uh, for the uh, MRA. Uh, so uh, just to clarify, okay, that, that there may be some states where the MRA doesn't apply, and I see uh, Guam as uh, uh, one of the states where uh, the MRA doesn't work as of now. Uh, but but guys, uh, you know that is not the biggest of problems, uh, you know, uh, for us because uh, it, it is uh, you know pretty pretty easy in the U.S. Uh, you know, once you complete your CPA exams, it's very easy for us to change the state board. It costs us only uh, twenty five dollars, uh, you know, as as low as that, and we can move around states. So uh, I, I was at, a Guam student. Uh, you were a Guam student, okay? So Mithil was a, a Guam student, and then. Uh, 
and then which state board did we move? I to? I transferred my score to Montana, and then I applied for the CPA Canada perfect, course. Sir. Perfect. So, guys, uh, you know, all this miles will help you, and I'm sure uh, 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 Mithil was uh, Mithil also got all the support uh, he needed. Uh, so, uh, so guys, uh, you know, that's that's not the biggest worry. So, if you're a Guam student and you're looking at moving to Canada, uh, moving that score is is a is a piece of cake, and that can be uh, easily uh, done. Uh, I have some questions around, uh, you know, I'm a CMA student, how in demand uh, CMA is in Canada. Uh, so, uh, you know, and, and before Mithul uh, sort of puts his expert you know, on the ground comment, uh, let, let's understand, right? So uh, the, the Canadian uh, bodies now want to consolidate and they say, we don't want CA, CGA, CMA. We just want one qualification, which is uh, uh, CPA. Uh, and uh, given that, uh, you know, that has happened, uh, you know, you would presume that in the finance and accounting uh, community in, in Canada, uh, uh, you know, uh, it'll all be around CPA. So, uh, you know, if you're a CMA US, uh, you know, from India, you know, what I'd say is, uh, you know, Miles will also help you on the CPA. Now, the CPA exams are in India. So, complete your CPA and then look at getting to uh, CPA uh, uh, Canada instead of trying to have a CMA US and look out for a job in Canada. I mean, that'd be my suggestion, uh, you know, and, and Mithul, maybe perhaps you could uh, add on to that. Yeah, I mean, uh, with with other qualifications, uh, the the uh, I would say the CPA Canada is having few MRAs with, for example, ACCA, CPA, and CA. Uh, apart from there, if you are having any other qualifications, you need to go through that path, that the long path that uh, we we saw from uh, elective, uh, then CFE examination, and all that thing you need to do. Uh, yes, you might get some exemptions, some uh, subject exemption, but that is that depends on CP Ontario evaluation. So I cannot I cannot uh, comment on that. But yes, uh, I, I think we'll, we'll keep it very simple. Uh, so uh, CPA US get that done and get the MRA and get get things uh, sorted. I mean that's that's like yeah, uh, that would be the most preferable way I would say. Okay, is there age limits uh, for PR guys? Uh, you know, I, I see that as well, one of the questions. Well, well, uh, the point system is suggesting that if you are above particular age, then the points are lower for that particular. For example, if you are uh, uh, between 10 to 25 to 32, the points are highest for that particular age range. So if you are 35, then the point will go down. If you are 38, the point will further go down. So there, there, they they have prescribed a slab, on uh, and each slab is having a points. But uh, with with increasing age, the point will reduce. Okay, okay, okay. Perfect. I think we've covered it uh, quite a lot, and uh, I think uh, it was a very very good session. Uh, you know, uh, Jayshree, Vasudha, uh, you know, Samia. Any 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 questions from? From you guys, uh, you know, and, and of course, I think we've, we've covered uh, mostly all of the questions. Uh, 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 Nandan had a question, license in good standing. Uh, Nandan, license in good standing means an active license. That's that's nothing. That's, that means that you've gotten a license and, uh, you know, you've not done and gone and done something wrong. So that's... And the, you, are, you are paying your fees. Okay. Yeah. You've, okay. Somebody asked, uh, also there was a question around the fees. Uh, so what's the cost of maintaining the, what's the annual cost of maintaining the Canadian CPA? Uh, so we are paying eleven hundred dollars a year to maintain our membership plus uh, the CPDR requirement that you need to satisfy by by you know enrolling to any uh, 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 any any companies who are providing that CPDR. Uh, or even the NASBA approved CP works there? Uh, uh, no, uh, you you need to have uh, actually the thing is here you need to come you need to complete one twenty hours in three years. Uh, that the same way we what we have in US. Uh, but here the 60% hours is unstructured. So you can, you know, probably ask them to uh, consider your CPA, CPRs for that unstructured learning. Okay. Okay. I think that, that, that makes a lot of sense. So, uh, and so, also uh, even uh, companies help um, in, in uh, gaining this CPD hours. There are many companies that, you know, conduct uh, learning sessions and, you know, all these training sessions, which do qualify for your CPD hours. Okay, interesting, interesting. So, uh, I, yeah, Mithil. Sorry, sorry to cut you off. Uh, one more thing. Uh, don't worry about the membership fees. Normally, most of the companies and public accounting for our firms are reimbursing your fees. Okay, that, that's, that's like a, a non-taxable fringe benefit. So. For sure. <laughs>
Okay, great. Okay, so uh, uh, there's another question from Vishal GS. Uh, apart from LinkedIn, is there any other platform to apply for jobs? And uh, this is for those, especially I think, who have the PR or who are in advanced stages and are looking at opportunities. Uh, you know, uh, what apart from LinkedIn did you guys use, or did you hear people using? So uh, here, LinkedIn is the is the I guess the first preference, and the second would be uh, Indeed. Sure. Uh, 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 and indeed, is an aggregator, so I think that gets very easy, right? It sort of picks yes. up from multiple sources. Okay. So, so that is also one of the good source to you know uh, get uh, get uh, get to know how this uh, job market or what job will suit you, or you can apply from there as well. So that is also one of the most popular platform here in Canada. Okay. Okay. So I think uh, uh, I think we have our answers on that, guys. If there are any any other questions that you asked in the chat earlier, because I think the chat is too long uh, for me to scroll up. If you have any other questions, you can just sort of quickly put up on the chat now, uh, or copy paste your earlier question, and uh, you know I think uh, we'll we'll be able to look at it. Uh, so uh, yes, yeah, yeah. somebody is saying eleven hundred year or eleven hundred dollars per year. Uh, yes, per year. Yeah, per year. Yeah. Thank God, per year. Okay, now I'm asking chat, so I, I see an entire. This is this is loaded. Okay. Somebody is asking, uh, 24 or 30 months of experience need to be certified by employers. Definitely yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, and I think we covered most of the uh, 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 points. Uh, uh, will they count experience from other fields as well in the 24 to 30 month criteria? I don't think so. Right. Uh, no. 24 to 30 needs to be accounting, finance, audit, tax. Yes, there is a there is a good uh, uh, you know explanation of what they will count. They have given everything in there. Sure. On the form. Sure. Perfect. And I think, guys, uh, uh, with this, uh, um, uh, there were some questions on uh, which is the immigration agency that they could go with. Is there any advice on that? Yes, yeah, perhaps, you know, uh, you know, as Miles, we could reach out to uh, one of the immigration agencies and uh, create a structured pathway, uh, you know, given the high demand for uh, Canada, uh, you know, uh, uh, I don't know, I, I've heard of Y-Axis and a few others, uh, Mithul, Mosam, I mean, any, any, anyone uh, whom you've heard, of, I mean, you guys didn't use, but somebody, some of your friends used and the way. Yeah, have, I mean, there are, uh, there, are, there are quite a few good immigration agents in India, like uh, the Y-Axis that you suggest and that there is access immigration there are quite a few but i would suggest to you know go with the immigration agent who are registered with ircc sure. uh, you can re you can rely on what they are saying okay so are these y axis and others and, and and sorry for my ignorance here uh, are these y axis and others are they registered uh, you know with ircc or no so you can check it i mean you can whenever you go uh, for their advice ask them for their license number and check uh, the license number. Uh, I mean, verify the license number on the IRCC's website. They do have the do you have that that facility where you can verify the license number. So sure. you verify that license number, and you can you can make sure that yes, they are legitimate sure. and registered. Sure. So I think Purvi has a question. CA was evaluated at master equivalent or double bachelor's. Uh, uh, you know, uh, and this is the best evaluation that you do for CA, right, Mithun? So uh, yes, CA, it's a double double graduate double bachelor's. double graduation. So it'll be treated yes, as a for me it was for me it was double bachelor's. So I would say it is the same as of now as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, even for the US CPA West does the same thing. Okay, uh, you know, uh, uh, there's a question around health costs and school education. So you guys have become like, you know, uh, I think brand ambassadors or ambassadors for China, for Canada to India now. Uh, so how, how are health costs, how are school costs, uh, you know, uh, like in the US, the school system is free? Yes, uh, even in Canada, uh, the school system is free. Uh, you know, uh, given that you are sending your kids to public schools, sure. private schools are as costlier as they are in India. So, uh, but most kids here, they do go into uh, public okay. schools. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, That's the same with the Except for the fact that if, you're, if your child is gifted and you want to, you know, just, you know, put them into business schools, then uh, you can do that. But otherwise it's free. Even um, uh, health is also taken care uh, in two ways. Uh, mostly, you know, your normal uh, costs are um, borne by the government. And apart from that, even good companies, they offer other benefits in terms of uh, medical and dental. Dental is like very, very expensive here. So the companies uh, bear a lot of costs. 
so um, health and education i would say it's covered okay great. okay i have a question i see a question from uh, ananya which is what about semi qualified ca and point system for pr as you said west does not consider cpa so ananya west would consider your ca inter so uh, west would give you about 30 credits uh, for your ca uh, inter uh, mosam is, is that is that correct i think it's it's slightly yes. over 30 it's slightly over yeah 30. no no that's correct um uh, if i uh, recollect well i was given a bachelor's equivalent for uh, my uh, inter ca so you do get points on the basis yeah, yeah, yeah. and, and i i think it's the same west that we use for us and this one's for canada now uh, yeah yeah so uh, fair enough uh, so i think uh, that's is there credits for indian cma yes there is credits for indian cma also uh, uh, can we take our parents with us to uh, canada if not now how much later can we get them to canada uh so <clears throat> so for parents if you are a permanent resident you can apply for a super visa for your parents sure. super visa will allow you your parents to stay, stay here in canada for 2 years sure unlike visitor visa where, where which allows you to stay for maximum 6 months sure whereas super visa allows you to stay some more time so sure. you can apply that after coming to canada on pr it's a draw system so uh, sorry first come first serve visa system every year they issue some quota and you need to apply into that quota and how does the spouses system work so i have a question from payal mm-hmm. and she asks what about spouses not in accounting field so one of the spouses gets the uh, uh, moves in there gets a, it's in an accounting job the other spouse will also get a pr right uh, for this for the other spouse no the thing is i mean uh, for example if you are here uh, as a bachelor and after coming to he- canada you get your pr and then go go to india and get married and if you want to apply if you want to get the pr for your spouse then it's a normal process uh, but yes you, there is an added advantage if you are a pr holder of canada sure, sure, sure. no i think the question uh, if i'm not uh, uh, wrong the question was uh, both both the like the couple is coming together one of them is in accounting and one is not what about that person was it not yeah uh, and i i think that 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 case is very clear right i mean typically- yeah it's very clear whatever uh, field you are in get yourself assessed through that bring your transcripts get count your credits and that's all yeah, so that's, yeah. that's 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 fine and i think that's about it so i think a lot of specific questions guys uh, you know let let's understand mithun and mosam have done it themselves it doesn't mean uh, you know they have done a dab phd on how to immigrate to canada but uh, you know i think uh, you guys have been very kind uh, uh very very uh, helpful so uh you know uh, uh, so guys uh, what we'll do is uh, you know uh, with expert intel that we have now with uh, you know uh, mithul mosam and i think there are few other uh, miles alumni also in, in in canada you know what we'll try to do is we'll try to come up with uh, you know a, a list of faqs uh, you know for those who are looking at immigration to uh, canada and try to help you as much but i think and then you have specific immigration guys who can give you a lot more details but at least as far as the uh, cpa canada is concerned i think uh, you know uh, we will sort of uh, you know as miles will sort of figure out a little bit more details and have that as as part of uh, you know uh, the 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 support that miles provide so we can say okay we we'll get you a cpa license we'll also get you your uh, uh, cpa uh, canada uh, you know uh, and and i think we could sort of uh, you know we'll connect with mosam and mithul offline and get get more details but i think we've already shared uh, quite a lot uh, uh, you know uh, uh, anybody else uh, you know jayshri uh, vasudha samay you would want to add something um, i i think it was a great session uh, many questions were answered uh, there there are of course still a lot more i'm sure that specific to each individuals uh, requirements but as varun suggested that you know we will try to uh, come up with a q and a uh, that can be useful to all try you know we've got a lot of your inputs so we'll put together a, a q and a and share it with you all so you know it will help you take your next step of course you always need your immigration lawyers but we will try to give you something to get started with right um, so that that's my point thank perfect. you yeah, perfect yeah, yeah. great 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 and uh, and uh, and really uh, thanks a lot uh, uh uh mithul and mosam uh, uh you know uh, really 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 appreciate uh, you know uh, you know uh, had this been a physical session we call for a round of applause but uh, you know uh, thank you uh, thank you so much uh thank you thank you warren for having us on this session and we are more than happy to answer all these questions 
and if you have any questions in future just uh, reach out to us we are happy to help and uh, we have faced so many situations here so many experiences nobody was here when we were here to help us so uh, if if we can help someone to get there uh, uh, i mean if we can help someone for their journey throughout their journey we would be happy to help them and uh, once again thank you team miles everyone on the team for helping us getting our cpa for doing such seminars and helping others as well and thank you warren for your guidance throughout this journey and uh, yeah really appreciate everyone thank you cheers 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 and mosam uh, you know last question for you uh, so been been about two years in canada for you now yes two and a half and how's how's canada treating treating you <laughs> absolutely well and um, i think this this is the best decision that we have made and uh, we are really happy and uh, i think the credit goes to you varun and uh, miles um, that was the first step and um, because the first step was so smooth and so uh, you know helpful um, everything else became um, easy for us as mithu said lot of obstacles came but uh, yeah we we stayed put and we conquered them and uh, here we are and uh, it is very overwhelming so many uh, people have joined us today and thank you all for being such a patient audience uh, and uh, we we really apologize if we couldn't take some of your questions it's it's time bound but i think uh, varun and uh, the miles team is going to be uh, your go to place for all the questions that you guys have and um, we are here but i'm i'm sure uh, varun you are you are all very well equipped because uh, you all answered our questions so i'm sure you will do the same for <laughs> for all this uh, uh, for all this you know prospective cpas so uh, even if we have answered one uh, question of uh, you know uh, either one person then i think um, it matters a lot to us that we have you know helped uh, that's all and uh, thank you so much for having us you you have quite a huge alumni uh, base and then uh, you selected us from that so thank you so much no no you guys were very very kind thank you thank you so much thanks mosam and uh, you know uh, wish you guys a great day ahead so it's like early morning your time Yeah. yeah it's 10 now 10 okay so you have a good sunday and thanks for your uh, sunday morning uh, breakfast meeting with all of us <laughs> so uh, yeah thank uh, you thanks, we will be enjoyed thanks everyone uh, from india for for joining in uh, have a good evening uh, everyone and uh, you know uh, uh, jayshree and uh, the game plan team at miles uh, we trying to come up with uh, a little bit more information about uh, you know uh, especially with the cpa exams in india we are getting even more uh, you know larger number of queries right because uh, it sort of becomes easier for people to earn the cpa uh, so we will uh, come up with uh, you know a, a little bit more information uh about uh, cpa canada as well as the entire process we'll see uh, you know uh, uh, we'll try to help you all we can but uh, uh meanwhile uh, you know as uh, mosam also said there are a lot of opportunities here in india uh, you know uh, even despite covid times a lot of opportunities so uh, you know look at opportunities here uh, and if you're looking at canada you know that could be a, a next year or a 2022 game plan so uh, you know uh, Uh, so all the very best and uh, thanks thanks everyone for uh, joining uh, you know thanks again uh, mosam mithul uh, really appreciate and wish you guys uh, you know good times uh, ahead in canada and uh, you know uh, see you sometime when you're in india <laughs> yeah you're very welcome varun thank you thank cheers, you varun thank you to me cheers guys bye 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 bye